hello, hello, dreamers, and welcome back to Dream Queen by Perla. As always, guys, thank you for your love and support. Thank you for liking, sharing, subscribing to the channel. And if you haven't done so, I encourage you to do so. It helps with growing the channel, getting the video out there for more people, as well as keeping me accountable. For personal readings, all that information can be found down below in the description. So let's go ahead and see what do we have for Aries Taurus Cusp. Um there um, okay um there's an energy here of you're you're playing a small you're playing a safe um so regardless of what you're doing let's put it this way whether you're playing a safe by um not not dreaming too big or not chasing your dreams or um setting very um strict limits strict limits to what it is that you're able to accomplish or you're you're dimming your light um to how can i put it this way um it, it's almost kind of like this sounds like somebody may have may have said something in regards to um you sorry guys i'm just trying to see why this is not closing okay that's my my duster um maybe somebody may have said something about you being too out there or your 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 flashy or your showing off or something of that matter Re regardless of whatever it is for you personally it's like um excuse me why are you going to dim your light because somebody else feels uncomfortable about it um there there is a sense of just just be yourself because regardless of whether you downsize or downgrade or um let's say if like you're constantly like posting on social media or something like that and then somebody throws you like a private message like a friend or a family member they're like oh you know you're constantly posting this and this and it's like yo seriously if you don't like it you don't have to see it right you don't have to follow me and and, and it's almost kind of like regardless of whether you dimming your light or not this person is is still having issues um with everything in life so you cannot go ahead and personalize what this person is feeling um because you're choosing to go after your dreams or you're choosing just to be yourself you know what i'm saying so there is kind of like the song um confident from um demi demi or Debbie, Demi, Demi Lovato, Demi Lovato, I think that's what it is, um, sorry guys, I suck when it goes to, um, artists, but it, it's almost kind of like, you need to stop playing it small, or you need to stop dimming your light for other people, if, if it makes other people uncomfortable, guess what, that sounds like a you problem, that's their problem, not yours, and you have to stop trying to also be friends with everybody, because not everybody that is around you, um, whether they're co-workers or whatever it is is going to be a friend right and this is something that again a lot of you seem to fall into this energy or this space where you you gain that confidence right to be yourself to put yourself out there to do all these things that you want to do and then it's like the minute somebody says something or comments something um in dislike or disagreement with what it is that you're doing you stop or you slow down and it's like you know what I, I always keep on saying it you cannot expect somebody that doesn't have their own dream to support yours so and, and that comes with anybody whether it's a family member or a friend um a lot of times you know people set certain limits for themselves right and because they themselves are afraid to go after their own dreams, then it, it's almost kind of like they want to stop other people from following their dreams. Now, regardless of what the reasoning behind that is, you know, it may be somebody that cares for you and they just don't want you to get hurt or they don't want you to be disappointed or this to this or that or fail or whatever. Regardless of the reasoning behind it there still is the fact that they are stopping you or you are allowing them to stop you. So there, there is a sense here of needing to retreat when it comes to 
um, internalizing people that are telling you that you're dreaming too big or that you're doing too much, right? So, uh, like a, a good example is right when when people start their their fitness journey, right? Um, especially somebody that hasn't worked out in a really long time, they they you're always told to start to start slowly, right? To to allow your body to adapt, right? But then there, there is a time or a period where your body is asking for more, your body wants to be challenged more, but because you're comfortable in a space of, oh, well, this is what I do and this has been working, you, you start to kind of lie to yourself and tell yourself that you can't do more or that that's too much or that that, that is too extreme or that that's going to take too much time or it's going to, you know, whatever lies it is that you're telling yourself. And you need to kind of get yourself out of that energy of going back into those spaces where you you make progress up to a certain point, but then this limited um, type of mindset that... Uh, you've been trying, I'm not going to lie, because I am picking up this, this, this energy of like, you know, I'm trying, I'm trying, I'm trying to break the habit. I'm trying to, I'm trying not to limit myself as much as I, I have been, but there, there's something almost kind of like that almost always draws you back. And it has to do with um, individual or people that you keep around you, right? And whether it is that you have um, a lot of respect for them or you love them a lot or whatever it is but in reality or the only thing that it's doing is um keeping you stagnant right it's not allowing you to continue on moving forward so i'm not telling you to go ahead and go crazy and you know that's not what i'm saying yes slow and steady runs the wins the race but there are times when you can do more right within that steadiness as long as it doesn't feel out of control um there is a sense that there is probably more that you can do um so this is going to come into that energy where you yourself are going to have to sit with yourself and tell yourself um kind of have like a little chat with yourself and be like you know what we can do this right and and i'm not telling you that let's say if if you're going to start lifting weights i'm not telling you to use like 20 30 pounds right but if you've been more into like cardio or hit workouts and you want to start with the weights then start with the five eight pounds whatever it is that your body can handle but i mean there, there is a sense here of like stop trying to play a safe so so much right um the Hmm. the biggest changes in our lives regardless of whatever situation it is usually comes when we take those risks when we go into those spaces that we for a very long time have told ourselves that that we couldn't um or that it wouldn't work or whatever it is right and that's basically your message for this week guys um take the risk and allow yourself to dream bigger and allow yourself to go for more so let's go ahead and let's pull out um a few tarot just to clarify so we have the hermit in the reverse we have the justice in the reverse and then we have the queen of cups in the reverse we did have have the judgment in the upright um, position at the bottom of the deck. So the, there is a sense here of like, okay, you've been trying to, <clears throat> you've been trying or you're wanting to free yourself, right? From, from what other people are saying or from what other people are, are or from your own personal limited um, belief, right? Um, style or th thought pattern, whatever it is. But there, there is a sense here of maybe if this is involving other people, maybe feeling like you're going to lose people or that people are going to walk away from your life or people are not going to agree with it or whatever it is. But at the end of the day, focusing so much about who is going to walk away um, is not letting you grow and it's not letting you go for more, if that makes any sense. Um, you, you have to, you have to get to the point where you realize that certain people come into our life just for certain seasons. And when that season is up, it, it, it's up. It, does that mean that they're gone forever? No, there, there are times when people circle back around and that's perfectly fine. So let's go ahead and let's pull out a card for the love energy. Now, love energy doesn't necessarily have to be a romantic relationship. Um, this can be love for yourself, love for your passion, um, for your work etc so this is just the general love energy surrounding you 
So we have a very soon. So there's something that is picking up a mentor. There's something that is trying to come in for you. Clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you. So this, again, we go back into that space of the limited um, belief style. So if you want to move away from that and you want more or you want something bigger or something that you have been told your entire life that you can't achieve, then you have to sit down with yourself and be like, you know what? This is what I want. This is what I'm going to go after. And go ahead and make a plan or however it is that you execute things okay so let's go ahead and let's, um, pull out an oracle card for your closing message an oracle card for your closing message okay we have a reflection again we're talking about talking to yourself we're talking about taking that time for yourself so reflection number 32 be wary of things you believe to see with eyes wide shut for they are mirrors of mad and truth only spoken with bleeding tongues, right? So whenever, so so whenever we we set any limits to ourselves or any limited beliefs to ourselves, we're we're literally looking with our eyes closed, right? Because we're not seeing the the possibility for more, right? We're, we've given up without even trying, and you're being asked to walk away from that energy. Well, guys, that is all that I have for you guys. Sending every single one of you love, strength, and blessing. Guys, take care. Love you all. Bye-bye.